Hello guys, this is BZ and I'm, do, I'm from Duprog.com doing another video tutorial for Java. In this video tutorial, we'll be covering some basics about declaring and initializing variables in Java. It's very important that you should, a beginning programmer should know that Java is a strongly data typed programming language. That means data types and variables plays a very important role in Java and variable can always be declared with odd data type and that variable can cannot hold anything other than the declared data type let me for let me demonstrate that before giving you some more information public starry void main I've simply made a main method to hold our type. So if I want to declare or so make a variable like number to hold some integer values or some numbers like 20, 25, 15, then I could do that number equals to 15. You could do that in maths without semicolon. This uh, logic is same here, but we are, we want to specify the j to Java what is this number going to hold and we do that by giving its data type before declaring a variable this is the variable name this is the data type the number will always be holding integer values we declared it integer int space number that means number variable is declared using integer data type so number can always hold integer values any integer values it can manipulate that but it cannot hold anything other than integer so, and we need a semicolon to terminate this statement let's and that's fine let's suppose system dot out dot printl and number control s run that select all okay it's running it's sort of 15 without error that means compiler understood it that means Java and our program is right there is a basic trend with beginning programmer that they misunderstood the way how Java works with a variable and this should be clear so I'm trying to make you as much as clear as I can so I'm having um, having a chart now you declared a variable using data type space variable and a value the most important thing is data type and the variable values are the same as the data type now what is a data type what is a variable variable is, is a container in computer language it's a memory location in physical understanding it's a container let's suppose I created a variable in a computer language M might be referred uh, like a bucket in real world uh, way now a bucket can hold literally hold anything uh, till this time but if you wanna pre uh, keep have hundred buckets and you wanna uh, make them in proper arrange them in proper places then you might want to have a label for, for each of them one might be label wine one might be label beer one might be label uh, some uh, hot drinks one might be label water one might be label distilled water and something like that and you won't you are not going to keep uh, like poison inside a uh, bucket level water because it's literally wrong you can do that but it's not a perfect way of doing so we have a level for everything in Java we have level for data type in real world we have level for container our bucket container we have level for that our medicine we have level for that medicine is a sort of variable if you can relate it to programming world now if this bucket is labeled wine we can add remove and edit wine if all the types of liquid is tried to keep keep all is kept inside the bucket then the rule is broken it can be kept but the rule is broken bucket police if there is won't allow us to do this bucket police is something that I uh, created hypothetically to make you understand uh, some terms now 
if you relate label to programming world label means data type of the variable in real world label means a uh, definition for some container now in programming language a variable have data types you can add edit and manipulate whatsoever is inside that if data type is a integer it's like the level of bucket you can add integer values to that variable you can manipulate on integers now if anything except integer is uh, tried to be kept inside the variable then the compiler won't allow us to do that it throws an error message popping towards us that we data type mismatched or something like that compiler won't allow us in programming world in real world bucket police won't allow us if there is it's in my world so data type says what the variable is going to hold it's like level for bucket remember the analogy and i think you'll uh, be doing great now the same thing here uh, integer is level number is a bucket if you can relate and 15 is a value that i passed into number by using equals to sign that you might have understood from the previous uh, lecture uh, tutorial now i'm uh, in the second line i'm ju just printing out so if i want to create a string then uh, my string variable name may be my name where i would like to put my name and print it out so it would hold string so we are typing data type string that's the label for our variable and we'll be giving a uh, name like vz and the thing we are doing here is passing inside two quotations it's because string data type and numerical data types are two different things in programming world so strings or words or characters are always to be passed within two uh, quotation marks and it's a general pattern for all the programming language i think so and let's print uh, my name let's copy this piece of code control v and my name control s run this program it works let's suppose i i'm keeping my name inside of integer data type and let's say it's arbitrarily wrong but let me run that to show you the exact thing it shows already an error it shows me error exception in thread main type mispatch cannot convert from string to int that means we are declaring our variable labeled integer and trying to pass something uh, un unusual like string to integer container so it's uh, illegal in java so guys be clear with this vario vi vi data type variable name and what you are actually passing into that variable uh, this most for uh, this tutorial follow me in the next tutorial and we'll move towards advanced course